Good evening, ma'am. Ma'am, it's already uh, 5.34. Shall we start? Yes, you can go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Nutana, Dr. Nutana, you can start. Yes, ma'am. A happy evening to all the participants present here. I once again cordially invite you all to the day four of this webinar series. A webinar on entrepreneurship development is being organized by our college, Padma Sri Institute of Management and Sciences, Bengaluru, Lab Services Private Limited, Kanti Swedes. I'm happy to introduce Dr. Adar Shagauda, Assistant Professor and Head of the Department of Food and Science, Loyola Center for Research and Innovation at St. Aloysius College, Autonomous, Mangaluru. He has completed MSc and PhD in Food Technology from Kuwempu University. His area of expertise includes in vivo and in vitro studies, pharmacokinetic studies, nano drug delivery, analytical biochemistry techniques and methodologies, used high end instruments and troubleshooting, preparation of nano particles for food application, nano encapsulation, nano sensor, novel food products, sports nutrition products, geriatric nutrition and setup the food labs and food processing units. He has worked in various projects and gained research experience. Dr. Gauda has published papers in reputed journals. He is the reviewer for international journals like Journal of Nutrition, which is in Malaysia, and Journal of Food Science and Technology, Springer. He has been invited as resource person in India and also abroad. He's currently, interest, he's currently interested in functional nanomaterials, growth optimization, and size selection of nanomaterials, nano encapsulation, nano membranes, symbiotic food products, sport nutrition, nutraceutical products, preparation of high efficiency of bioconjugated nanoparticles for biosensors and anti-aging concepts in food products. Now, I request Dr. Adarsha Gauda, sir, to kindly present his talk on basics of food product development. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you. I'm audible, no? Yes, sir. Able to see the slides? Yes, sir, it is visible. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your very uh, small introduction. Whatever we do, it is a part of our uh, journey, passion for the food science, connecting with the students uh, to create some more leaders for the future to design a wonderful products for the nation. So, thank you for the invitation to be a part of this webinar series. Uh, Dr. Anuradha Medam and for the entire management team uh, to giving an opportunity to be a part of this webinar. And today my topic uh, is a food product uh, development. You know, this is one of the very important part uh, of any food industries where it's a heart of the any food industry because if your product won't give any satisfaction, the consumers won't accept that one. That is what the basics part is very important. If you have a high knowledge also, if you don't know the basic part, you are not able to sustain the market for the long time. So in that way, connection, let me see how we can we'll go ahead with the, some of the important hints or the points of the way we can catch up for the, uh, the food product development at all. So uh, everything starts with a small idea because idea is very important. Because simply we can't just think overnight the idea, the concept, where how we can develop the concept, the food innovation, the vision, where the product should be targeted. So finally, the concept to reach to the consumer, it is not depend uh, uh, like uh, can be done within a one man. It's a teamwork. It's a team. Entire team will come together where we can come up with an innovation, healthcare products for connecting with the 
consumers. So uh, now new food products don't just happen overnight. They must be carefully planned and then tested before they reach to the consumer. Means what do I know? What do I need to know? Or what I'm free to do? Or what solution is the best? So the other thing is a connection with one-to-one. -one. But when we design any food product, it is not just uh, one part or one department is connected. It is a complete cycle, like from uh, warehouse to the, the management, the entire people connect together, then only the fine, final uh, the product can reach to the consumer. So the entrepreneur, uh, see the entrepreneur is very important if I'm connected because before I will go to the, the food product development, the before that the main person is the entrepreneur. He is the person who deems something to design the product, to run the factory, to reach to the consumer, to the common man, and there everything is connected. So entrepreneurs have a lot of connections, a lot of dream and vision, because simply you can't design the product. The vision is very important. The entrepreneur, uh, he should think that what type of product should be targeted to the consumer, what type of way I should stand for the next five years. So everything is vision is a part of the entrepreneur. So idea is a very important the business is a second part, very important part. Any person who will become an entrepreneur, the end product is the business. So because he want to earn something, he want to establish something in the market. So uh, there are a few pillars of an entrepreneurship, you know, an idea and the market, very important thing. Simply if you target something and you bought something in the market, it won't run. You should think the way that uh, should be reached, skill, knowledge, and experience, and the resources like if you are running something if you want to come up with any new product you should be guaranteed that you have all the resources to develop that one and finally the motivation and the hard work is very important over there so why people becomes entrepreneurs to desire to be a one's own boss a desire to be a success financially a desire to be a job security a desire for an improved quality of life for all these things, your product should be very important. You may become an entrepreneur, but finally, to reach to somewhere, to the one person, your product is very important. It will give the first impression for any consumer. So you have to co come up with all the circumstances to give all the clarity to the consumer, this is my product. So the characteristics of entrepreneurs, the, uh, the characteristics of entrepreneurs they have a vision, high energy level, tolerance to the failure, creativity, internal locus of control, self-confidence, optimism. Means a successful entrepreneur character is nothing but a smart, state smart, you should be passionate, good management skills, open-minded, keep up to date of everything and innovative. Why I'm telling this, if I want to develop in a product, first I should become an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is very important because before I come up with any startup for the food product to develop something in the food uh, section, uh, area, first you should be have a vision. Then only you can develop something. The entrepreneur has uh, that skills because money, if you have enough money in your hand, that is what something which uh, is very important part. So there are few difference, okay? The difference between the businessman and the entrepreneur. The businessman, you know, the risk factor is low, but faces a huge competition from the rivals due to the similarity of the products or services. But if the entrepreneur takes the risk and they may competitors later, but they will remain untouched. Remember this, this is a difference between businessman and the entrepreneurs. So if you see the market, uh, in the last five years, there are certain uh, company, they are sustainable and they are running successfully in the market. They are able to reach to the consumer in the right way and they are stable in the market. If you go, go with the other side now, recently the Zometa, Swiggy and all, they are able to reach to the, they connect with the consumer. It all connect with the idea. Idea is very important and successfully that team, the, the wonder team, the good team is very important. And what type of idea is reaching uh, to the consumer is very important. Good food, great business, or a good idea is very important. 
So if you see the in a, in a, in a five years, large and established companies a different category, fastest growing companies a different category, new and fast growing companies are different. They're all reaching in one section, but you can also remember that their business is not stable for a long time. There are also fluctuations is there, but still there is a competition. I know personally, maybe idea, ID Foods, Chai Pond, I know the how they struggled and how they reached because people will think that uh, a common tea, a normal tea can be a big business for them because Chai Wala though, like you will get in every corner. And like you tell about how, but this uh, Amlik Singh, the CEO of Chai Point, he just come up with the, he will, he will think that okay, tea is my concept and I will be able to reach to each corner of the, what he had done today, his business is 100 crores. That is what how the concept is where you don't think that uh, there is a similarity with my product and other product. Don't think, but why, how you will represent, how you project the concept to the social play from the consumers is very important. So if you see any entrepreneur, maybe India's hottest egg entrepreneurs recently, because entrepreneur, why I'm connecting this food product and entrepreneurs, you know, next 15 years, India, the entrepreneurs, that is the rule. Time. The time has come in a different section now. Our country next future is the entrepreneurs. And but there is a lot of space is there in our country to become a successful entrepreneur. But here, simply if you have I will become entrepreneur, it won't happen. You should have a great idea with a concept. So you can see the I think you're all aware of this Shark Tank India and these successful entrepreneurs, they come in the media and they will invest. But invest also your idea should connect with them. So this is one of the I like even I even personally I like these people who are connected with the things and they're doing work their things. But simply they won't invest. They also see see in the profit wise whether the product will be sustained in the markets and all. So these are very few important things which I'm telling. So now I'm telling an idea, a management, an analytical process, new product development, a brand. If you want to create a brand, you should have a great idea, commercialization, idea generation to the marketing strategy. Everything will part of the a food product development. Food product development is not just I have a, a great background, food background, so I will succeed. If you design a product, that is not end of the first thing. You have to sustain in the market. You have to come up with different strategy over there. So everything starts with a small idea from research, frameworking, feedback, prototyping, designing, focus group, where you want to go. See, if you come up with any product, you first decide where I want to target. Don't just blankly put it in the market that my product will run. No, you have to target in which section you want to target your product. And finally, it should be launched. So when it comes to the, finally, like any, any, any customers, any consumer, they will think in the health point of view. Whether you should decide traditionally product or it may be something in a innovation and all. But here also you have to do a lot of research from concept, idea generation, from customer pain to the market studies, from the layer comp competitors. Who are the competitors? If you come up with that concept, who are the competitors you have to think? So tomorrow you have to sustain, no? That is very important. Then research, the access market, like segment, size, growth potential, customer needs, legal issues, competitions is one more. Analysis, you have to go with the business analysis, cost and benefit, you know, you can't just dump with so many things and because cost is very important. Financial balancing is very important because you're not running for one or two days company. Company is running for 365 days. You have to balance from employee to the, the, the laborers. Everyone you have to balance. The cost, benefit, resources, require a capital expenses, profitability, anticipated sales and all. Then develop the product development. What is the technical spaces, prototyping, trial productions, testing, quality assurance, test marking and all, very, thing, very important. So each section, you have to um, uh, bring the expertise people only. You can't merge, you tell the one person to handle everything. This is happening in most of the companies. So you have to bring the right person. The, the, that person is belongs to that category only. You should not tell him to come up with other things at all. So launch, finally, if you are uh, come up with all these things in a final conclusion, go to the market, marketing plan, sales training, distribution plan, set up to the launch of the, your product. 
So it may be whatever, the, how you target healthiness, sustainability, convenience, naturalness and everything you, how you convince your consumer with your brand, with your product, how you are with the market strategy, very important section over there. So now I'm coming to the food product development, the R&D section. You know why I'm telling that is the heart of the any food industry. Food science versus food technology, you people, most of them are belong to that category only because they are aware of the surrounding things. Food science is a study of all aspects. People, you know about these things, but still the connection with this, I have to go for the aspects of the food, including processing, storage, and preparation like biology, chemistry, or physics, or it may be food technology, tools, techniques that help with the food production, processing, storage, preparation, food tech comes from the things. Then where, how you can, you can come with the advanced, like technology is one more area where you can connect with them. So, but it should not be expensive where it will be over butter for the company. So where the food scientists work then, if you see the graph, 47% are connecting with the food and beverages processor. I mean, in the processing and R&D and, and, and 23% are ingredient manufacturer suppliers and 9% will go to the academia and other person. But major part will be our scientists will work in the food industry. Only. I'm connecting with the food science people, I'm telling. And why this uh, that study of food science very important? Food scientists, researchers, new processing methods for the foods. Those methods deal with the slowing the breakdown of breakdown of foods so that they last longer. They last longer. That's very important. How will an understanding of food science make people better consumers? Studying food science allows the consumer to understand the basic principle of different foods. Having a knowledge of these principles enables the consumer to buy, store, and prepare the safe meals. Because at the end of the day, we all need a safe food only. We don't want to eat something where it will spoil our health. So steps in food product development then. The stages of uh, food product development. One is product development is the process of creating a new or modified food products. The aim of the any food, food product development is to increase the sales and maintain the company competitiveness. Competition is a, and the process of product development involves a complex series of stages requiring the combined talents of many specialists to make it successful. Guys. Manufacture, manufacture of products is controlled throughout to ensure that the original specification is made. The product should fill a gap in the market. And because that, if you create any gap, if you won't fill that gap, any another co company will fill that gap and you will be able to lose the business. In addition, the consumer must be tempted to buy the new product in the preference to the similar product. Initial ideas, you know what, the, there, must, there must be a concept for the product. Simply you can't, just, there must be a concept. This is attained in a variety of ways, such as conducting market research, analysis consumer trends or modifying the existing products. Usually the marketing department will provide the product development team with a brief for the type of product they want. Because you need to do a marketing research also, survey also. Test in the kitchen. Kitchen means whatever the product, finally you have to do the analysis sensing, sensory, like you have to go with the other things before it will reach the market. Research is carried out to formulate a number of recipes and specify the ingredients to be used. You know, that is what the formulation, the finally the, the secret recipes which you design the product. The several versions of the product usually made using a slightly a different ingredients to the product. That is nothing but the products are prototype in the companies, the kitchens where the, the professional chef or a food consultant will be connected with the thing. The small number of staffs are experienced in the sensory evaluation, testing the product, or evaluating them informally. On some occasions, the company does not have a testation. They will initially concept for the product is sent to the independent developers because there are other labs where some companies, they don't have the facilities. They have to depend on the, the other people. So after all these things, character, you know, uh, like you are, if you, 
I'll come back to your things. If the person should have a good character, that will give the best impression to anyone. Like that food character is very important. Without that, people won't uh, connect with that food. The physically, chemically, biologically, and microbiologically and sensory. I mean, physically means nothing but shape, color, size, surface conditions, appearance, texture, freshness, and defects. You know why I'm telling, if you go to the any sweet shop, you have an idea that Mysore Park means smooth, a special micro, uh, Mysore Park with the, that color. That is the identity of the Mysore Park. Immediately, if a market person will tell, it's, the entire Mysore Park is color, black color. And he said, this is a special Mysore Park. Can you can go ahead that way. But many of the consumers won't accept that one because it is having its own identity. You can't spoil that identity. Shape is very important. Color is a first. That's the impression of that food because color will the first impression of any person you will attract to that food. Size, surface condition, texture. That's very important. The mouth feeling, freshness and defects and the appearance. And solid, total solids, etc. And next comes the chemical part. Chemical means their nutritional value because any person, any consumer will buy a product. They will think about the nutrition value, the moisture content, because then if you have a different moisture, they have to store in the refrigerator. And, it's, and even company should think uh, because to sustain that product, they have to go with other ideas and all. Functional value, where you want to target is very important. pH, food additives, and uh, the chemical contaminants and all. Next comes the biological and microbiological part. Because safe food is very important. You know why end of the day, we have to consume the safe food because we are all much conscious with our health uh, part of things at all. After COVID, people are more conscious with their health part of things at all. So you have to think on that things because that's a very important section of the food product. Then after everything, finally the packaging, you were food pack, finally packaged food, how long it can be sustained in the external environment? That is also a very important part. You have to think what type of packaging material you're using is also very important. So physical attributes like physical attributes of food are related with the appearance of the food products, including color, shape, size, texture, and the appearance. Because appearance is very important. That is called the first impression of the any product. So color. As I told you, know, color is the one of the very important section of the any product. You know, even the packaging material also, there is a specific colors. You, you, you are supposed to use the same specific colors even in the packaging material. Color is the first impression for anyone, even for us, for anyone. The color is the one of the most important image features because it contains the basic human vision. The color significantly affects the consumer perceptions of the quality. If the color is unacceptable, the other two major quality factors, the flavor and texture are not likely to be judged at all. That is very important because if you are failed in the first step only, people won't connect with the other things. So what is the quality like uh, these things, the food quality and health? It may be hygienic, chemical, sensory, energy, nutrition, health promotion, convenient and consumer choice, physical, good texture, hygienic means it should be free from the microbes and all. So quality control is nothing but you are the customer care, improved safety, improved market position, reduce the liability risk and all, uh, repeat business because your product should remain in the business uh, market for a long time. No? The sustainability. So quality assurance and quality control, they are very important part of the any food industry because when you come to the quality control, they focus on the product. Quality assurance, they focus on the process. In the control, reactivity. In the quality assurance, proactivity. Here in the quality control, line functioning, they stop functioning. In the quality control, you find the defects. Here in assurance, prevents the defects. So quality control, again, testing, there the qualitative, quality audits, audits will be there. Sensory evaluation, you know, that is one of the more section, very important part. Uh, uh, that is a very important area. It is usually for the sensory evaluation to carry out at the uh, many stages. 
many stages of the development process trained accessories comment on the appearance order taste and texture of the product to make sure that the product being developed displayed the desired characters i mean the accessories are able to do this with the great accuracy accessories are uh, sorry are able to do this with the great accuracy so the sensory properties of foods are related to the three major attributes one is appearance like color size and shape flavor odor and taste texture mouth feel you know when you consume something you should be very happy the mouth feel is very important the viscosity and hearing the consumer integrates all of those sensory inputs remember that things appearance aroma flavor hand feel mouth feel chewing sounds into final judgment of the Acceptability of the that food product because you should be very conscious with this because finally the the when you are happy with your product then only the consumers will be continue with your uh, connectivity that company. So next comes the nutritional uh, the label uh, the you have to give the very clear picture over there uh, because that is very important because now people had educated they will come up with all the things very clear. So you have to mention because not everything. Uh, there are few secrets you have to maintain in the industry. That part they will do, but other things you have to give the very clear clarity in your nutritional facts and all over there. So when the when when an uh, acceptable uh, product has been made in the kitchen, it is being produced using the pilot scale equipment because it is very important. A pilot plant is a small version of the equipment used in the manufacture. Many manufacturers have these facilities. They produce the product on a small scale, but in same way as it is would have done during the large scale manufacture. This allows them to judge whether the product can be successfully produced on a large scale and whether it meets the original specification. You know why I am telling you these things? Because in the beginning, okay, fine, your product slowly started moving in the market and uh, people are ready to accept your product, but immediately there is a huge demand then you should be ready to produce in the big level also because if you are not able to do that things you will lose the market so you should be very careful with that things enough product must be made for the market research and sensory evaluation to be undertaken so product specification after testing and modifying the product on the pilot plant the final product is created that gives this details exact integrants and the precise methods of the productions are important because the specify specification is very important as it will be used for the production of each batch of the product to ensure the consistency is very important consumer testing you know many manufacturers test the new products on potential consumers before moving on to the large scale production if the new product is targeted at the particular group of the population the consumers will select from that group example vegetarians otherwise the company will try to ensure that different sub few groups are represented example males and females from the variety of backgrounds across the range of the ages consuming uh, consumer testing there are three main methods they we follow one is a group discussion street interviews and home trial in group discussion usually uh, uh, up to eight people are involved in a discussion run by a trained person okay the aim is to hear a detailed review of the new product in the street interviews people are asked to taste the sample of the product and say that what they like or dislike this produces a snapshot of the opinions about the test products and home trials consumers are provided with the product and asked to try it with at home because this is very important this gives the opportunity to the sample the product in a real life huh? Uh, 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 situations and to have a response from the whole family. The trial may result in a minor changes to the product specification and the manufacture processing. Scale up. You know, once the company is confident that the product is likely to succeed, it is ready for the large scale manufacture to begin. The manufacture process is sometimes organized in unit operation such as size reduction, mixing, and cooking. These are control to maintain the consistent product quality safeguard staff health sorry staff health food safety standards and to avoid the problem that may stop the production line running which would result in a downtime so 
uh, if all this is there, well, still we are not, uh, we, are, we are okay. No, we need a certification. Food certifications are giving an identity in the market. Like each, like European Commission have a different certifications, Indian having a different, because if you want to run the product other than our country, then you have, you, should, you require other certifications. I'm telling just in the part of the uh, Bureau of Indian Standards, International Organization for the Standardization, our Food Safety and Standard Authority of India, ASMA, it may be if you go with the health products, you need uh, um, some of the other certifications. If you want to go outside, then you have to come up with the uh, other certificates and all that. So um, if you go with the Ayurvedic product, then uh, you have to get some other certifications and all that. So uh, now, uh, if you connect with other products like ready to eat product, real ready meals and all, their convenience, less time, people used to connect with that because most of the, especially the, the working women are, uh, they always connect with this thing. convenience, less time for preparation, economical for single person or small families, reduced waste, demographic uh, trend, use of the, these things at all. So in other side, social media, like when you come up with any product, this is one more ad and, and uh, to connect with the, uh, the, uh, the people to know, tell about your product. Uh, the social media is also one part of the things uh, other than ad, ad agency and connecting with the channels and all. Because now it has become very important. People, because see, if I will come up with a very good, uh, uh, clean and pure coconut, from the one of the place and uh, in the bottle if i want to sell them they won't take it if i will bring the parachute transfer that oil and transfer this oil to that parachute uh, bottle then they will take it. this will become a brand people are conscious about the brands so they should think about that to create a brand you have to connect with these things at all so uh, launch is very important you know you should know when should your product should launch. It's very important. Key factor. This is when, what time you are going to launch your product. Then that, that is very important to connect with the some new products are shown at the trade launch. This is the intended to allow the large supermarkets and distributors to look at the sample, the products. Often deals are made at this stage of the sales for sales. Sometimes products are launched in a different regions of the country to measure their performance. This may indicate whether the product could be launched at a national level or should be dropped from the production. Advertising then takes place at the consumer to know the product is available. Finally, the new product is launched. So now I'll come with the very important part of the why one should become a food entrepreneur in our country, in India. Because I told you next 15 years, it's booming. Entrepreneur is the section, very booming section in the, our country. But your idea should be very connecting with the consumer, with the social connectivity, and it should be very uh, affordable product for the, in the market. The opportunities in food processing in India and in industry are the Indian food processing industry accounts for 32% of the country's total food market. Remember one more very important thing I am going to reveal that is 14% of the manufacturing, that is GDP, it comes from food industry, guys. It won't be revealed everywhere. 13% of the India's exports and 6% of the total industrial investment. Indian food service industry is expected to reach 17 billion by 2000. That is the old data, but now it has been. But after COVID, much variation has not happened. So in the industry, witness 7.1% growth during 2013-14, much higher than the growth in the agriculture. Now it has been doubled. And lower, lower level of the processing, 2% in the case of the fruits and vegetables, 35% in the dairy section, 23% in the parent products, 21% in the meat, 6% in the poultry. India shares in the world process food production, 1%, value addition, 20%, against 45% in the Philippines. And estimated wastage fruits and vegetables in India is 4.6 15.9. But this wastage can be go with the so many products that's as I told you, that this is the uh, part like uh, which I was telling about uh, vision of 2015 to 2020, where uh, strong demand in the growth, food processing hub, advantage in India, I'm telling, increasing investment because FTA is there now. Investment, including FTA, would be the rise with the strengthening the demand and supply, 
supply uh, fundamentals, launch of infrastructure development schemes to increase the investments in food processing infrastructures, policy supports because robust private sector participation, 100% FDI under automatic uh, automatic route because you know what has happened recently in the food processing hub and all. So food processing sectors comprise of six major sectors, you know, fruits and vegetable, milk, meat and poultry, marine products, grain processing and consumer food. But each have their own identity in our product, but you should know how to come up with the product over there. So uh, food processing sectors, as I told you, 14% GDP comes from the food industry. Right? That's a big, big thing for our country. So you can imagine how this food industry can do a revolution in the future in our country. So these are a few things I had told. I will skip a few of the things. Here I told you same thing over there. 14% GDP, 30% in the processing industry account for the total export, 6% in the total industry investments and all. FDA, because why I'm telling foreign giant ventures, partnerships in India, because Starbucks company, Indian subsidiaries, Tata Global Beverages, and like that, there are many partners which is combined together, they come up with a very unique product for the consumers. And uh, each state have their own, uh, uh, this thing because whatever you come up with a product, you need a raw materials you should know where to buy that raw materials because without that simply i will you will tell that i will come up with the products that you don't know which state have what type of raw materials enough things where i can hire that uh, things to produce the products at all then food science you know it's a product development food safety sensory evaluation nutrition and sustainability relation between nutraceutical is one more area health conscious products which is connected with the food itself is a act like a pharmaceutical Nutraceutical, herbal remedies, functional foods, and vitamins. Because why I'm telling these things, uh, my connection with the Amrut Noni recently to develop some of the products, uh, they see your products where we are coming with some other healthy millets products and all. And there are few aware uh, the young company which they are connecting with me. We are developing some health conscious because I don't want something a wonder product. I want to give, come up with some. Uh, healthy products for the consumers where companies uh, we bought together we are developing some of the products uh, where, you know Amrut Noni is one of the successful company uh, industry in our uh, state but still I now Amrut Noni is coming with the, some food products also where I am designing for them so like that there are few where, uh, products we are designing with other uh, companies and all uh, so food science is a connection with engineering mathematics physics biochemistry microbiology molecular biology, chemistry, and statistics and all. So main areas in food science, you know, biology, food safety, and food microbiology, chemistry, food chemistry, and food analysis, physics, food processing, and food packaging. So opportunities, as I told you, uh, it's a connecting with a multiple direction. Food science is an area where multiple direction is there from uh, flavor, fragments, ingredient, food agriculture, because value, increase in value to, it's a key industry, you know, you have to come up with a new idea to sustain your their product in the market. So, uh, what does our scientists, as I told there, uh, our science, the food scientists are very important key role in the industry. They, are, they study about the physical, microbiological, and chemical makeup to the food because you know any person, if you have any function or any you want to visit any markets, uh, sorry, any any function or marriage at all, what you what the, uh, the people will do? They will. Uh, uh, get ready with the very uh, somewhere people should attract like they should attract to the people and then that way they will make up here also i'm telling in the same way you have to give the makeup touch up to the food to attract itself in the market food scientists may also develop ways to process food preserve the food package food store food and all trust areas in food side department uh, department is food biology food chemistry and food engineering i don't want to go with the details at all and uh, this i'll skip this also I'll skip. How to bring a food product to the market? Food processing section is very yeah. after designing everything. Transformation of uh, raw ingredients by physical uh, or chemical means into food or food into other forms. Combines a raw food ingredients to produce a marketable food product that can be easily prepared and served by the consumer. That covers the spectrum of uh, products from agriculture, horticulture, plantations, animal husbandry and fisheries, techniques of manufacturing and preserving the food substance, improve the quality, make them functionally more useful. 
you know, food processing in a nutshell from input production procurement storage primary processing secondary processing and retailing modern food processing has a three major part aims one is make food safe microbiologically and chemically provide the products highest quality make food into convenient so uh, if you go with the any food industry there are traditionally from a long time they are going with the same method now with the modern companies are there both have a different strategies methods of food processing like traditional methods and novel technology in traditional method you can go with the process by application of heat blasting pasteurization sterilization evaporation extrusion processing by hot air drying and baking processing by removal of heat chilling and freezing oh, fermentation in novel techniques you know high pressure processing uh, or maybe microwave processing ultrasound processing omic heating we have a n number of new technology way but you should know whether you have to bring it in your in your circle because the cost is very important the financial matter is very important so classification of food process industry there are three segments as i told you primary secondary tertiary because when when you are de developing any food products you have to be very conscious with all these processing lines uh, see primary secondary tertiary you have to see example i'll tell you about the milk in the primary processing grading and refrigeration will go in secondary processing cottage cheese cream smear dried milk and all in tertiary uh, fats yogurts processed milk same thing in grains and all in primary processing seeding and grading secondary processing flooring malt or milling and finally in the tertiary processing you should be no way to whether you want to go with only secondary processing or you have to go for the tertiary processing you have to divide divide because you have to stick on to only to the flour atta and all just pack it uh, like atta and you will sell in the market no i don't want to stick on to the atta i will go for the for the products that you have to decide because budget is very important guys sectors in food processing as i told in the i don't want to take again uh, you are, so i'll go to the next line food processing demand drives like uh, increasing spending on health and nutritional products increasing number of uh, nuclear families and working women functional foods fresh or processed foods changing lifestyle you know this is because why competition has the huge competition market changing lifestyle is there so you have to come up with that type of products in the market changing demographics and rising disposal incomes organizing retail and private labor penetrations and all uh, the need of our new product development product life cycles remain competitive consumer and customer needs are very important new technology and government regulation you have to go with that things otherwise you can't sustain in the markets and product development adds a value in several ways that is nothing but pro growth productivity quality improvement brand maintenance because you have to create a brand otherwise people won't accept you have to remember that things growth means line extension new product new package productivity like reduce cost formulations or it may be package manufacturing procedures and all quality improvement like quality of design competitive advantage advantage or brand maintenance like conformance special situations regulatory environmental specifications product development complex generally a market driven is very important and you have to require the integration of marketing like r and d processing and legal functions of the company success only comes with a careful planning and execution team work absolutely essential very important that i you should not i want to never uh, should come up with that mindset like this is my company i do it cannot be happen in overnight you have you should get a great team the team work is very important over here to avoid the chaos you have to come up with uh, 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 something must exist the guide product development like company mission what is the company mission why do we exist company attitude where we want to go company strategy how will we get there company plan what do we do now programs product development project task is very important so the food innovation food product development from innovation to willingness to pay because this is very important guys you may come up with a wonder products and all well but whether the consumers are ready to pay with that price tag line you should be very conscious with things whether willingness to pay this is very important so preference choice purchase consumption desire buying intention frequency of consumption consumption behavior and to attitude you know uh, though i am a part of the abdul thoni artisan product somebody asked me one thing it cost that one bottle cost around 1700 but still people are buying it you know why they are giving a good result it is very important 
but in other side if you have a good uh, number of your price are still you are getting that uh, uh, there is no growth every, every month your growth is coming down means your turnover is coming down means you are losing the market you should know you can't sustain it one product man right? some company they are still there in one product only you make a rule for 365 days but what next after next day you have to think because if you think in one product for a 6 year that is a really wrong guess you have to come up with a one more product to sustain because you have to sustain for a long time in the market food industry new food products are very important technological and to be financial time and opportunity for the product launch social values consumers individual needs and expectations product acceptance and all so economic environment uh, sorry you know is very important i will skip this one but to ensure a success you need good strategic management and good product development execution means good and poor good is assured success poor is hit or miss we don't know. assured failure so there is a 50 50 you have to take the risk sometimes a uh, company need a address strategic planning and several levels like product strategy product portfolio strategy product development strategy at all is very important to create brand categories business unit vision objectives projects and all product development cycle the idea and technically and commercially feasibility our product formulation and testing costing is very important production remember performance and commercially launch you can't go with the domestic launch at all guys commercial launch is with, don't go i will entire product will be launched at a time in india you can't sustain for tomorrow product formulation and testing is very important recipe development sensory and consumer acceptance testing product specification pricing and pre- preliminary costing nutritional values so production requirements like process flow equipment types risk assessment shelf life product quality packaging storage and distribution costing is very important financial matter very important section fixed cost variable cost break even point profitability commercial launch how and where to launch local acceptable trials publicity and advertising is very important as i told what can go wrong guys you know what uh, i will always tell maybe one company is telling our product is doing this this they may quote a faking things for a few years but later if come people will come to know they are faking with their advertisement they won't able to come back i'll tell you openly guys this is what i have seen with the many companies with because i am committing with many company developing a products i have seen some of the companies where they are very top in the one time they were nowhere now because faking giving a fake advertisement telling that we are, our product is doing that somewhere one day their reality real thing will come out so you should be very conscious with your product what you are designing what type of product you are targeting for the consumers new products can fail at every stage of the development cycle example i will tell you guys nestle nestle was giving you wonder products in the market but in 100 years they had to face that one concept recently that uh, maggi uh, part which i am telling uh, they had uh, uh, had a major loss with that but it is a 100 years company somewhere they sustain that much huge loss also but imagine if new companies will happen like this they never able to come back i will tell you so inadequate consumer research lack of management support poor communication inadequate documentation inadequate training technical reasons legal reasons insufficient financial return cost to high price to low is very important things critical success factors you know the success or otherwise of a new product can be due to number of factors but ultimately it comes down to people means and their understanding of all aspects of products process and packaging requirements product failure can occur at any step in development and final product stage and communication i mean that is very important to support our key factor in ensuring the success this is what the uh, guys uh, with the small uh, things i try to connect with you about this one this is our beautiful campus or alicia sendo thank you Thank you so much, sir, for delivering an effective talk by giving us insights on basics of food product development. Now the session is open for discussion. 
if you have any queries the participants are free to ask any questions please uh, questions please mm. uh, thank you sir for your uh, very elaborate and uh, informative talk yes. Thank yeah. you, thank you. And uh, there is a message for these youngsters, uh, like uh, uh, people who are really interested to become an entrepreneur, go ahead with that things. Maybe uh -huh. first one year is always uh, a tough day for you, a tough journey. You know, second year also it may be tough journey, but if you have hard work, because why I'm telling, maybe today I'm getting many people used to call me and they talk to me that we want to start a small industry. We need your leaders, mm -hmm. we want to develop a product. And there are, because I also won't accept everyone, but there are few people uh, where their products, where I their concept and uh, my idea should connect with them. And mm. then definitely because I always think that uh, health conscious product should be uh, be there in the markets and all. And only money can cannot do anything, your vision and all, where we can come up with some good products. And I want that next 15 years in our country is the entrepreneur. If this is the one area which will change the entire things. You won't become only the entrepreneur. The, you will be able to create a job for the future of the next few youngsters can come and join to that company. This very important uh, part. So my now aim and motive is to create more and more entertainers in the food industry where uh, uh, they can come up with some good products. And thank you so much, madam. Uh, giving so to, yeah. sorry to disturb you, sir. Yeah. So there is a query in text box. Yeah. Uh, which things are most important in uh, product development? Yeah, see, uh, if when you are coming with any product, uh, there are a few things I had uh, earlier I told you. Uh, one is uh, market strategy, because you may get many ideas to create a product, but market strategy, where you want to target that product is very important. Then what type of product you have to design? I had told you about the mouthfeel, physical and chemical property, everything. And uh, R&D section, may, I may design what any type of product. Your mind will come up with any idea. But finally, to give the final the consistency to the product is very important. Uh, maybe from the safer side, maybe for the shelf life, like from maybe from the texture point of view and nutritional point of view, and uh, that where the, the particular product uh, connecting with the health uh, applications. This is very important. So it is not easy, like uh, just we will tell whatever and uh, you should know about the formulations are very important because uh, uh, if you have come up with any variations that may go with the raw, sometimes it may go wrong. Example, I will tell you, I want to add uh, uh, one type of concept, uh, example, any ashwagandha is one of the ingredients I want to add in one of the product. I may come up, uh, my, my miscommunication somewhere, I had added a, uh, the concentration is more in that product. It may create some problem for the consumers in the later, maybe that is the biggest failure for me. So you should be very conscious what type of product we're adding, whether adding of all the ingredients have a, a proper chemistry between each other, everything is very important over there. And also packaging, very important part, what, uh, that is very important, what type of concept and designing of the packaging is very important. It's very important. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir.
on behalf of our college i once again thank you sir for accepting our invitation and delivering the talk yes thank you thank you yes thank you sir utana uh, yes sir sir is already there yes sir Dr. yes ma'am ready sir is there already you can wait yes. yeah yes good evening sir good evening madam good evening sir yeah good evening madam good evening yes. sir good evening now we have another session uh, the second session um dr s yalla reddy sir i invite you to this uh, entrepreneurship development webinar sir very good evening to you sir i am privileged to introduce today's second resource person yes yes sir so can i continue yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am i am privileged to introduce today's second resource person dr s yalla reddy sir he has obtained msc in organic chemistry from sv university tirupati and phd from mysore university he has he has worked as senior scientist for more than 33 years in cftri mysore as principal investigator he has undertaken several research projects for government and private agencies sponsored and consultancy projects for industry he also has teaching experience in food technology he has guided several phd and msc students he has conducted short term courses annually for industry personnel on chocolate and confectionery after superannuation he is working as technical consultant at kanthi sweets and kanthi lab services private limited his r and d areas of work at cftri includes specialty trans free fat for use in chocolate and bakery coca butter alternative for use in chocolate development of processes for cereal bars sugar free traditional sweets nutraceutical confections etc he has visited usa for 2 years as post doctoral visiting scholar and worked on the project modification of fat milk fat and application of various fractions in chocolate he has published more than 50 research papers in both national and international journals presented more than 30 research papers at various symposia filed 15 patents dr yes yalla reddy sir has won several awards such as best research papers by american oil chemist society association of food scientists and technologists india and cftri best process for tamarind candy and best scientist by cftri and few best posters were awarded at various symposia now i request dr yes yalla reddy sir to kindly present his talk on success mantra for budding entrepreneurs over to you sir okay oh. thank you madam for your nice introduction at the outset good, uh, good evening everybody at the outset i would like to thank the organizers the padma shri institute of management and sciences bangalore and uh, mrs uh, shikha sharma director kanthi lab services private limited bangalore for giving me the opportunity to talk on success mantra for budding entrepreneurs today i am uh, of course uh, i am not a businessman even then i would like to do justice to the given topic on uh, how to success in business for the especially for the budding entrepreneurs so entrepreneurship is uh, the practice of creating developing and running a new business launching a business venture often involves great financial risk so entrepreneurship necessarily involves weighing the risk with the potential reward 
that can be gained by a successful business model. Yet, the modern in the understanding of an, an entrepreneur encompasses a broader scope of ambition and responsibility. They are often perceived as risk-taking innovators whose pursuit of opportunity can fundamentally change the world by introducing new product ideas. Some of the business opportunities available for new uh, entrepreneurs in India. Uh, thinking about uh, the business opportunities, the statement of uh, Douglas MacArthur, uh, what uh, citing here, there is no security on this app, but only the opportunity. So regarding the availability of the business opportunities, the use of uh, Thomas Watson also worth quoting here, opportunity never knocks on the door. You have to knock on the opportunities door and they're all around. The fact remains that there are opportunities available everywhere in and around us. What is actually required is to have the lenses to see and recognize the same. There exist innumerable business opportunities in the environment for unleashing by the entrepreneurs. Surround yourself with the people you trust. Your primary job as an entrepreneur and leader is to build a team of people with diverse experiences and expertise, but like-minded values. Uh, curiosity is one of the most important rights for entrepreneurs of every age. Never lose the curiosity to see around the corners. Some of the key strategies that drive for successful business or entrepreneurship are the first is uh, study the competition around you, around us. The, to know who are your competitors and try to understand their products and services. This knowledge will help you better market your product or service to stand out, perhaps even using your competitor's weakness on, for your advantage. So for this uh, to do some research or in the, in the industry, there are a couple of things to be remembered. One needs to take into consideration the consumer for whom the product or service is targeted. That is very important. In fact, you should always have at least one team member working on new product development or services ideas, surveying your customers on what they would like to see from your business in the future is also a good idea. So first, we should not aim for high market size. So avoid expanding into a large markets in initial stages. First, you go stepwise. And uh, the other important uh, factor is you have to listen to the custom, consumers or customers' feedback and adopt them. So the business people or entrepreneurs can evolve their business only when they are listening to customers. That way, not only will you be able to change what you are not doing right, but you might also pick up some amazing ideas on which direction your company is supposed to go. So in any business, change is inevitable and those capable of responding are flexible and versatile. Sometimes you can use the social media to set the goals. You have to keep coming up with the new goals your business is supposed to make. So the majority of marketing now takes place online. And if you want to attract a lot of web users to your business, you will need to provide them with quality content. So you should tackle small markets first and move on to bigger markets as your company grows. So the important strategies for success are learn from prior work experience, develop a diverse set of skills, identify a problem that needs solving, then solve it, surround yourself with the people you trust, uh, remain curious. So for some of the mantras or tips for success in uh, entrepreneurship or first is uh, 
passion. As an entrepreneur, passion for business is in the first most important factor that can drive success. Research markets and product details, etc., to putting extra hours at meeting vendors, networking with potential customers, and fine tuning strategies all require an immense passion and commitment to success. So, another one is vision. We should have vision. While passion can move the mountain, it is the larger vision that can ensure the movement in the right direction. So, with the questions like, what is the trend in the industry? Where is the future growth potential going to be? What are the predictive growth drivers and where is the individual challenge, etc.? An entrepreneur with a clear vision will always be able to look further into the future. So you should have the determination. The path to success for an entrepreneur is most challenging with several roadblocks and hurdles, especially. So the one thing that is required to keep going despite this is determination and faith in one's abilities. A successful entrepreneur is wired to believe that there is nothing that is not possible or cannot be done. So the other one is initiative. Also is the key to not only successful entrepreneur, but a successful person as well. A very successful entrepreneur knows that if something has to be done, it needs to be done by themselves. With a strong work ethics and commitment to keep going, it is this spirit initiative that will help ensure the projects with the impossible thing without hurdles and situations. So the versatility is the another one, survivor code for any entrepreneur. One needs to be able to adopt to changes, setbacks and failures almost immediately and work out a way to solve the issues. So ability to take risks is another important thing. No initiative or growth come out without embarking on a risky idea or investment. Without the ability to analyze and being open to calculate your risks, one can't dream of a successful business empire. So another important aspect is decisiveness. So it is one thing to have great ideas and passion and vision, but with a weak decision-making power, most growth plans either get shelved or lose their genius. Furthermore, the ability to take a quick decision under pressure is a vital trait that most successful entrepreneurs practice. So you should have a strong work ethics that is, there is a much a fruit of passion as it is of professional work ethics. From cultivating basic traits like punctuality, discipline, commitment, and respect for partners and employees, entrepreneurs mold themselves for success. Strong people skills, being the skilled people's passion, who can motivate and drive people is vital for success. From handling internal crises to managing conflicting expectations, a successful entrepreneur, someone has excelled in this thing and uh, also ideas, but also share a vision and inspire their way of business. Innovation and creativity are the two prominent attributes of every successful entrepreneur. You should be audacious enough to face all fears and allow your creative ideas to translate into success. You should have confidence and self-belief to enter individually into the competitive world as a thriving entrepreneur. You should have all the self-belief, confidence, and enough courage to take up the challenges and try newer things or ideas to grab more knowledge or learnings. Another one, optimistic approach always helps ward off unwarranted and unnecessary anxieties on the way of achieving their vision. So failures should be able to accept gracefully. The one who accepts failures well and use those experiences in order to build a stronger foundation for his business 
is the one who achieves greater success in life. This, the, this is very important that customers needs. The successful entrepreneur knows that their customer is the king. Therefore, they always think from viewpoint and needs of their, their customer so as to delight their customers and their trust. A successful entrepreneur is one who is socially and mentally prepared to head his team. So should be able to act decision maker. He is responsible to face outcome of any actions. So he is a leadership qualities. So another important analysis in the successful business environment is SWOT analysis. That is nothing but which addresses strength weaknesses of opportunities and uh, threats used for business to plan their actions accordingly. So this facilitates realistic fact-based and data-driven approach for analyzing the strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats for organization. The strength include, so this uh, strength of, is an element which separates it from other com competitors and which in which organization excels. So this must be analyzed to decide how to use those results for business continuity and growth. The weaknesses are harmful. The, this uh, stops the organization from performing at its optimum level. They are the areas where the business need to improve to remain competitive. The weakness must be analyzed to decide how to work on those results to achieve business of continuity and growth. Strength and weaknesses are internal factors which take into account all the things that business owner can reasonably control. The so opportunities refer to favorable external factors that could give an competitive advantage. Opportunities must be analyzed to decide how to utilize these opportunities for business expansion and growth. So threats, these are all the harmful, refer to actors that have the potential to harm the organization. Analysis of threats shall be done proactively to identify and work upon to eliminate or reduce business risk related to business continuity and growth. So by this uh, SWOT analysis, an organization can reaffirm the industry positioning to use it to build a strong foundation for business. Systematically conducted SWOT analysis will help to identify the crucial factors for a business. These factors, when further analyzed in terms of risk assessment and opportunity, will help to develop a better planning for business. Planning shall further be detailed in terms of actions which should address what to do, how to do, when to do, who will do. So objectives of the business should be in line with this action for precise monitoring and to achieve the improvements. Thus, the SWOT analysis can be used as a powerful tool for organizational risks and opportunities assessment and action planning to address those risks and opportunities. So, this what analysis in particular about, uh, especially about the food processing industries, because we are uh, particularly talking about food processing in our country. This is a forum that will give more importance to the food processing industries, uh, business in the food processing industries. What are the strengths in this industry? So abundant availability of the raw material, priority sector status for agro by the government, Vast network of manufacturing facilities in the country and vast domestic market. However, there are weaknesses like uh, low availability of ad in adequate infrastructural facilities, lack of adequate quality control and testing methods as per international standards, inefficient supply chain due to a large number of intermediates, higher requirement of working capital, inadequate quickly develop linkages between research organizations and industry, and also seasonality of the raw materials that uh, used. So coming to opportunities, so 
in the food uh, processing industry. Large crop and material base offering a vast potential for agro processing activities because ours is a agriculture oriented country. Setting of agri export zone and the food ports for providing added incentive to develop green fields projects, rising income levels and changing consumption patterns, favorable demographic profile and changing lifestyles, integration of development in contemporary technologies, <laughs> material balance, science, biotechnology, research, offer vast scope for rapid improvement and progress and uh, opening of global markets. So whereas uh, threats include affordability and cultural preferences of fresh food, high inventory carrying cost, high taxation, and also the high packaging cost. So business uh, ideas uh, in the food processing or industry, so because uh, ours is a agricultural country, uh, mainstay is agriculture, entrepreneurs can explore many options in the food grain cultivation and marketing segments. It is the, our country is the lot, second largest producer of food in the world. And also diversification is there, varieties, different tastes, which is quite evident with each region having its special food preferences from north to south and east to west. Food products have unique opportunities in production for the domestic market as well as for export. The demand for various products of the food processing industry is on the rise. But unfortunately, very small portion of our food production is processed for manufacturing purposes. So you can see here, so because uh, the level of processing in the perishable foods like fruits and vegetables, milk products, meat and poultry, marine products is uh, very less. First, it is evident from the figures that there remains a lot of scope for agribusiness or agri entrepreneurship development in the country. As such, entrepreneurs can add value to these products with proper management and marketing initiatives. So the, some of the tips how to become a successful food entrepreneur. As the popular saying goes, uh, food brings the people together on many different levels. It is the nourishment of the soul that is important. So, which contributes the industry because that is the nourishment is the essence of it. With the thorough groundwork before venturing into the business, bring good results later on. A sample survey should be administered covering the product idea, what need of the customer it is satisfying, type of packaging, description on the label and product differentiators to the target group, make ground for a good business plan. There should be clarity in the business goals, understanding how the business works, developing the food formula, defining the shelf life of the product, pricing, profit margins, and mode of selling. The labor, resources, operations, regulatory and safety measures, among others should be in place. Analysis of the market potential and competition will provide insights for product development. So meeting the high demand for ready to eat frozen foods, premixes, fortified foods, or health drinks, the trends and innovations are also an effort to put India on the map with the make in India. Food processing industry in India comes into picture today with the innovation being the key point, which is dependent on technical innovation with the social and cultural innovation. What the Indian food processing industry includes is a large number of products from fruits and vegetables, meat, seafood, poultry, dairy products, beverages, grains, cereals and millets, bakery, confectionery, nutraceuticals, and ready-to-eat applications. Huh? Active and intelligent packaging is an emerging trend in the preservation and packing of food for safety and quality and convenience, which has got good, very good export potential, export potential. So thus, 
the food processing industry offers more opportunities for entrepreneurship development to establish and run fast food industries. So some of the risks involved in this business are the business has its own setbacks or challenges. Yes. It has a product that is perishable, therefore high responsibility for consistency and quality besides ensuring food safety. In an unfortunate situation, suppose if for sold food being contaminated, the news can spread like wildfire through word of mouth and social media, forcing a product to recall many a time. To avoid such incidents, a risk management plan that is comprehensive should be in place, leveraging technology, providing safety training to employees, and consistent facility and equipment maintenance will go a long way for enhancing the company's reputation. Creating a successful food business can be complex and requires one to be on the toes constantly, but with the right set of ingredients in place across all business units, the serving will be satisfying and profitable to the food entrepreneur. So because this uh, Bernotre says, there is no love sincere than love of food. That is, uh, these are the, some of the key factors for a successful food business. Are turn your idea into fruit, build good relationships, be familiar but different, get the right people, watch your financial margins, make your business sustainable, partner with a reliable supplier. These are very important. A national level conference recently on entrepreneurship for, for India for 2011 was held at uh, Delhi. So was built, the conference was built across uh, seven eyes for, uh, of uh, entrepreneurship. Inspire, ideate, individual, incubate, innovate, invest, and internationalize to discuss and deliberate on innovation and entrepreneurship for unleashing business opportunities available in the country. Two significant factors should never be ignored when you are about to open your new business. They are business funds is the most important to arrange the funds. Planning prior, one has to plan well for success, well before for success. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Hence, it is very crucial to plan the entire business strategy in advance before the launch. Study the whole market for the product or service you are about to deal in. Food processing is one of the evergreen business with the demand throughout the year. It is unaffected by socio-economic conditions of the people. So, Food processing is one of the sunrise sectors with more and entrepreneurs entering into the industry. Some of the food processing uh, ideas or uh, areas in which there's got good future market include uh, the first and foremost is uh, nutraceuticals foods. As health awareness among the people is increasing, the nutraceutical food segment has emerged as one of the rapidly growing sector is this. Some of the profitable food business ideas in the nutritional food segments include immunity booster, weaning foods, dietary supplements, functional foods, um, low, uh, calories, low GI and sugar-free foods. And uh, another uh, category include vegan and plant-based foods. The trend Veganism is growing in India and in the world. As people are becoming more aware about the animal killings, they are moving towards the plant-based animal and dairy-free vegan foods. This includes plant-based milk, that is uh, oat, soya, coconut, almond, cashew, or uh, based milk, nut butters, vegan products, milk powders, tofu, cheese, vegan spreads, instant vegan coffees, plant-based meat. The other category is uh, millet-based foods. So as you know, 
millets have high nutritional value. These are one of the products that must be an essential part of a healthy and wholesome diet. These are millet pasta, noodles, ready to eat uh, and cook, breakfast foods, millet flakes, millet snacks, millet breads, roti, chapati, etc. So the other category is uh, dairy industry. India is the largest producer of milk and is one of the largest producer and consumer of dairy and dairy products in the world. So in this uh, category, the fortified and flavored milks, probiotic curds, flavored and fruit yogurts, paneer and cheese manufacturing, and sweets manufacturing, these are the areas in which you can find. The other category include ready to eat and ready to cook foods. This is the segment, perhaps the first growing sector in the Indian food processing industry. It is also, India is a lot, one of the largest ready to eat and ready to cook food markets in the world. So these include ready to cook curry <coughs> and base gravies, ready to cook idli, dosa batters, breakfast uh, mixes, lunch snacks, and other sweets and uh, snacks, soups. The other category include bakery and confectionery industry. With a growing urban population in the country, bakery and confectioneries are becoming very popular. So these are all in, they are include instant cake mixes, vacuum fried chin, snacks, chips, fruit powders, gluten-free products, artisan breads, organic cookies, traditional confectionery and savories. The other category include cereals and pulses industry, organic and natural products, health mixes, weaning products, diabetic rice, sprouted millet fruits. The another, yet another category includes spices and nut processing. The India, Indian subcontinent is well known for spices and nut across the world. Indian spices hold special recognition worldwide for their texture, taste, and medicinal value. So these include nut proteins, energy bars, essential oil extractions, nut butter and spreads, flavored nuts, curry powders, all-purpose food seasoning, etc. So the other category is plant-based chemical extracts. The plants contain different kinds of essential chemicals, that is phytochemicals. These chemical extracts are used in food products, cosmetic, perfumes, deodorants, and medicines, including Ayurveda and allopathy. So these include pectin processing, curcumin processing, phytonutraceuticals, etc. The other category is the frozen food industry. These include frozen snacks, pastry, pizza bases, frozen vegetables and fruits, meats and fishes, cold chain and warehouse setup. The meat and poultry industry include canning, meat processing, animal and uh, poultry feed. Marine and uh, fisheries industry include fish processing, fish oil processing, fish food manufacturing, etc. So the other category include beverage industry. These probiotic and prebiotic drinks include immunity boosters, instant coffees and teas, traditional health drinks, weight loss drinks, muscle gain drinks, cold press juices, and breweries. The important another uh, category include fruits and vegetable industry. India is the second largest uh, country in the world, production of fruits and vegetables concerned. So the areas under this category include fruit pulp processing, cold pressed uh, juices, fruit powders, dehydrated fruits and vegetables, sauces and pickles, etc. These are some of the areas in which the new entrepreneurs can take uh, advantage and then enter into the business. So recently we have seen uh, uh, on the TV show, the Shark Tank India. So this is an uh, Indian business reality television show that uh, airs on Sony TV. It shows the entrepreneurs making business presentations to a panel of investors who decide whether to invest in their company. The show features a panel of potential investors who listen to entrepreneurs 
ideas for business or product they wish to develop. This self multimillion judge the business concept and products and then this decide whether to invest their money to help the market and mentor each contestant. Thus, the entrepreneurs get opportunity to expose or pre and present their products and popularize through the media. This is a very good show. So this is going on in the Sony TV right now. So you don't have to be great to start. So but you have to start to be great. So this you should remember and then go ahead with a successful entrepreneurship in any field that you want to accept. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Principal ma'am. Yeah, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your informative and crisp talk. And it is thank really you. beneficial to our students as uh, most of them are into final years and uh, they are outgoing batch and some of them have just started uh, their career and it will inspire and guide uh, with your valuable information which you have provided. And the people like uh, institutions, like reputed institutions like CFTRI can definitely guide them uh, for, the, for their future career. Thank you, sir. Thank you very yep. much. And I also extend my thanks to Shika Sharma, ma'am, uh, who is there, uh, rightly accepted for our invitation to collaborate with us and also to provide very, very valuable speakers to us and for our students. And it, this, uh, these talks are not only benefiting uh, our own uh, students, and it has been attended by so many people, and, uh, like uh, students from even faculty from other institutions uh, who are dealing with the food and nutrition and food courses. It is uh, really helpful, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, Shikha Sharma, ma'am. Thank you very much. Sir. Thanks a lot. If there are questions, we can take it up. Students, anybody can unmute themselves and ask questions. Many are wishing thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. So, uh, on behalf of our students, I would like to ask uh, one question. It is for the students. You know, whenever they are learning the uh, things in the institution, they will not connect it uh, to the either to the business or to the future career. Can you give any uh, tips to them that so that they can think and they, it is not like a regular subject where you just study before the examinations and write it and forget about it. It should be like a practicing thing so that they can really connect it. How to connect the things because of the different subjects they study and they, they will not be doing that connection business properly. So I want a, a small message from, from uh, you uh, to the students. Uh, yes, madam. First, uh, they have to focus on which aspect they want to go into the business because uh, you are uh, running the vocational courses on nutraceutical and food processing in which field the students uh, wishes to take their future carry so first they have to focus on the industry in the, on which business they want to go ahead so then focus it and then go ahead with that uh, idea which idea? I have listed so many ideas and the plant ideas in that uh, food processing industry. So in which field they want to excel? So depending on that, we can guide them. Okay, okay sir. And especially uh, sometimes uh, some of the other, other college faculty and students have worked with us. Uh, they, they used to come to our facility and use their facility. Uh, is there any such opportunity uh, where they can either use the facility or they can do some collaboration with uh, Kanti Research Labs so that uh, students will get benefited either for their project work or for their uh, if they are budding entrepreneurs? Yeah, yeah. Project, uh, project work uh, can be taken up in any 
institutions, including the CFPR, I get it, so project assistants, yeah. as a project assistant. Okay. So even uh, here also, uh, as a trainees or uh, uh, undertake some uh, uh, part of the curriculum, any topic they can take and then they can work in any organization. That will give them confidence and then experience how to go about in their uh, future career. Thank you, sir. Uh, part, dear participants, you can either type in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and you can ask your questions or queries and clarify your doubts uh, with uh, Dr. Elari Disa. A feedback form is being posted in the uh, chat box. You please uh, take, uh, give the feedback. Dr. Nutana, if there are no questions, I think we can continue. Yeah, you can wind up. Dr. Nutana? She lost the connectivity in the... Is there? I'll just check one, one second. Stop. I think Hindu, she, she is not audible, Hindu, Dr. Nutana. Uh, she, she is... There is some problem. Man. Okay. Uh, we will only uh, take it up, uh, Hindu. Uh, okay. On behalf of Partnership group of institutions. Uh, I thank all the participants and also uh, my special thanks to uh, Dr. Elari Disar and Shika Sharma, ma'am. And uh, my uh, respects goes to Dr. Elari Disar for uh, giving such a valuable information to all the students and also uh, to Sika, Shika Sharma, ma'am, who has given uh, many speakers. Even yesterday, the talk was so good and I started getting information. And uh, people are asking for the numbers of these uh, speakers so that they can invite to their institutions. It was a really a great experience for us from past four or five days, and it will go on till 21st. I request all the participants to be there with us and uh, try to use the opportunity provided by uh, partnership group of institutions and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, LR sir and uh, Shika Sharma, ma'am, uh, for, uh, for, for uh, providing us the speakers on this platform. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah. Indu, you can uh, close the session. Yeah. Hope everyone has given their feedback. I'll be ending the session. Thank you. And we'll meet tomorrow, 11 a.m. morning uh, for the talk of... Uh, uh, Sneha Ramesh raised hand, Indu, third year. Yeah. You have any question, Sneha? Unmute yourself and you can ask. Maybe by this. Uh, sorry, ma'am. It was a technical glitch. Okay, okay. No problem. No problem. You can uh, uh, close it to Hindu. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'll be ending the session now. Have a great day.